The um, Masters in Chemistry would be for uh, students who are working and want to learn a little bit more, um, maybe something specific for their particular job. It's also very good for a stepping stone for going into uh, medical school or going into uh, a PhD program. So one of the things that we try to do in the department is have sort of comprehensive expertise, right? So we want to be able to cover all areas of chemistry. My personal area of research is bio and organic chemistry. So I look at how metals interact with biology. We have organic chemists who are making new antibacterial compounds, uh, materials chemists and physical chemists who are making new flame retardant compounds. Uh, we have analytical chemists who are looking at uh, what makes up uh, our food and drugs and things like that, and other analytical chemists who are measuring a single atom or a single molecule at a time, which is really amazing work. And we have biochemists who study the way proteins interact with one another. The faculty are amazing. They are so much fun to talk to, and they're always in the moment and trying to explain their point of view of whatever they're talking about and they want to take the time out of their day to make sure you understand everything they're explaining. For the graduate students, um, the research opportunities, they can uh, do a, a research project with a faculty member here and in many cases we have uh, internships at other uh, area government labs. To get research done and to compete with the other researchers throughout the country and, and, the, the, and the world, the people who I'm working on these projects you know, collectively with, I, I need uh, to have master's students working with me. And, and all of the, the faculty members here in the department uh, will say that. I've completed and made at least 30 different compounds that no one has ever made, ever. Like not any other university, not any other place. No one's published it, no one's patented it. When we publish and when we write papers, certainly the, the students will get full credit for what they've done and, and will have something great to put on their resume. We have an NMR machine that I personally use versus handing my sample off to another person to run my sample for me. At larger schools, you'd have that person that's dedicated to M NMR or mass spec, and they would run the samples for you and they would critique it and optimize it, whereas I'm doing all that stuff myself. So the alumni work in different places, right? And so, and it really depends on, on what the student wants coming in. Some of our alumni from the master's program go on to uh, medical school, some of them go on to dental school, some of them just go to, to other professional schools and that's their choice. Most of the other graduate students will move on to a PhD program after here. And then there are a number of students who want to work in industry or in government, and many of them actually work in uh, a lot of the government agencies that are right here in Washington, D.C. This department is very lively and very, you know, up to par with whatever everyone else is doing in the chemistry like world. Yet here we try to incorporate it all the time. Like we're looking for the new technology, we're looking for the new little gaps uh, that we need to fill. Everyone is very enthusiastic about what we're doing and very involved. As a faculty member, it, it, it always gives us new life and new blood when there are new people coming through the department. And, and so, you know, every time we get a new student, whether it's a master's student or an undergraduate student, it's something that, that the whole department really uh, thrives on and, and builds from.